I mean, dealing with de- dealing with the studio time was cool. De- being being there with the East Sides was cool. Being in, in there with quick was cool. How was the studio with Sugar Free? No one speaks about Sugar Free. We know he's dope. Um, we know he's creative. cool. Free is a, a creative anomaly. Okay. Free free is hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was trying to keep the PG and say it, you know, like a cool way. But yeah, no, free is hard as fuck. Really? Like free came. Free, free is the only artist that I've worked with that came that kind of already knew. He knew what he wanted his beats to sound like. Mm-hmm. He knew what he wanted his delivery to be, and his delivery stayed consistent on every project. Mm-hmm. Like he knew what his energy was, what he was bringing to the table. He knew who he was as an artist, right. what he was about, and what that that's rare, you know, in his music game. Like you don't see a lot of people that kind of already got it. They didn't figured out the, the groundwork. You know, most people come in and then they, once they're in, they're like, okay, now what can we do? Versus- yeah, so when you see somebody like, I mean, this very that's very rare in this business, in any part of entertainment. When you see somebody that know, has, has figured out what they want to do and has carved out what they gonna do, and you can't tell them anything but something new that they don't know, how does that make you feel as a producer? You know someone's like, okay, you do have it, but let me coach you this way so I can get you to where you really want to go. How do you feel Honestly, about that? Honestly, well, there's, there's two types of individuals like that. There's the type that kind of like figured it out, they know, and then they're not listening now. Uh. Or there's the one that then figured it out, they know. So when you give them the blueprint as to how to reach the goal that they've already know that they want, yeah. then there's that person. Mm. Free was the latter, you know? So Free knew, but Free wasn't, arrogant to the point where he's like, oh, I know, fuck you. Like he was, <laughs> he was like, I know. Okay. So how do we make this happen? Wow. You know, he would come beatboxing beats and playing on the table with a pencil. Yeah. Like, Hey, this is how I want the beat to go. Like mm. he knew the rhythm yeah. already. So all we would have to do is recreate the rhythm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like that to me, that's like a breath of fresh air. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That way I don't have to, figure out and try to pull out what's in your mind without knowing. No, okay. Was was he a writer in the studio or did he already cone his stuff mentally in his head and ready to go? Free would get out in the studio and it would be crazy. So we we'd put the beat on, boom. Mm-hmm. The beat be popping, Pro Tools be up and the uh the the mic would be hot, everything. Free would go in there and say the craziest, to me, was the craziest, craziest <laughs> stuff ever. Like, ah, mm, mm, brr, ha, mm. and then go back in there and be like, yeah. And it would play, ha, mm, mm, that's what the bitch said, because I think mm, there's something, something, something. Ah, and like, <laughs> and little clips of him saying or talking how he talked, yeah. everything would fall in line. It wow. was like a puzzle. Like, and he knew all the pieces. That was yeah. the that was the dopest shit. <laughs> wow, that sugar free man, that's dope. Yeah, free free was fly, and he stayed him. So whether we was working with him with with, with Quick and G One, or if it was him there in the studio with us when the East Side we were working on the East Side of stuff, like yeah. he would still do the same him. So I would know already, like oh, okay, free about to get in the booth, huh? Don't trip, I got him. Got you. Cause I know what to expect. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's dope. Hustle man! Hustle man!